this is a video to investigate transformers. I'm going to collect some data so that we can investigate and compare the turns ratio for transformers that I'll be setting up with this apparatus here and the voltage ratio for the transformer. These coils are adjustable. So on this set of coils here, there are two coils within there. I can either put the potential difference across just one coil of 60 turns, or I can put the potential difference across both coils by inserting the inputs here. So this would be 120 turns. On the other side, I have two 120 turn coils, so I can either use 120 or 240. The two sets of coils are also connected by this iron core. So that's my transformer unit there. This voltmeter here will read the potential difference across my primary coil. So wherever I insert the power supply, as you can see, these yellow leads are connected to the AC on my power supply. That will form my primary coil. My secondary coil is just being read by this voltmeter over here. This experiment is quite noisy, so at points I'll have to dramatically reduce the volume of the video so that uh, it's not a deafening racket. I'll also be holding the coils off the desk because otherwise it's really loud. So whenever I apply power to my primary, I'll be lifting it up like this. We're going to be taking simultaneous readings, so this is an advantage of taking a video. We can see the simultaneous readings very easily. We can pause the video on playback and read the primary and secondary voltages there. In the analysis video, I'll be putting this data into a table. I'll be calculating the turns ratio and the voltage ratio. And then I'll be working out the percentage difference for those. I'll also then be plotting them onto a bar chart so we can see visually how the ratios compare. I'll also be doing a correlation analysis so that we can see how well correlated the turns ratios and voltage ratios are. So let me just turn this on so that you can see what happens. We're looking at these meters over here and here. So we were getting about three and just under six volts there. So that was on 60 and 120. And what I'll be doing at different stages is adjusting the ratio. So I can change this to, for example, 120 on this side and keep this on 120 so I can see what 120, 120 gives us. Or I can keep this on 60 and change the secondary to 240. And I can also unplug this entirely, turn it around so that I can go from... 120 down to 60 like this and of course 240 to 60. So I have different combinations of turns that I will be testing for. Let's take those out. The combinations of turns will be as follows. We'll do 60 to 120, then 60 to 240, 120 to 60, 120 to 240, 240 to 60, and 240 to 120. So we're going to work through these, collecting the voltages, and then in the second video we'll analyse the data to see how well correlated the ratios are. So let's get started with 60 and 120. Okay, now we're going to go to 60 and 240. So this primary is staying at 60 and I'm adjusting my secondary to 240. And here we go. Now 120 to 60, this is a case where I'll need to reverse the coils. On the secondary I have 60 and on the primary I have 120. 
So 120 to 60. Here we go. Now 120 to 240. So the only way to make 240 is to 120. So I'll turn this around and that's my secondary now. And this, so 120 primary, 240 secondary. Here we go. Okay, now we're on to 240 as my primary. So I'll turn this around again. So 240 on the primary and 60 on the secondary. So 60 over here. Let's turn that on. Oh, some, something's disconnected there. There we go. And then 240 to 120. So just moving the secondary to use both of those coils. And here we go. So that's our data collected, a very straightforward experiment. And in video two, as I said, I'll be analyzing the results to see how well correlated the ratios are.